Alright, hey guys, welcome back. Today's menu is pudechige, or also known as Korean Army Base Stew. So I think literally it can be translated into Korean spicy sausage soup because I looked up the history of um, this pudechige, and it says I'm re um, I'm using Wikipedia. It says. Uh, soon after the Korean War, food was scarce in Seoul, Seoul or um, South Korea. Some people made use of surplus food from U.S. military bases around a couple of you know, cities in Korea, such such as hot dogs, spam, or ham, that uh, incorporated them into a traditional spicy soup flavored in with gochujang, or also known as pepper paste. Um, but it does also say people had kimchi, but I don't know. I feel like there'll be more of kimchi jjigae, you know? So in today's recipe, I'm not adding kimchi. If you guys don't know what kimchi is, it's uh, just fermented spicy cabbage. So I actually um, plated everything, sort of. So I have some noodles. I have uh, green onions and some peppers. This is just um, jumbo size of wieners. You know, regular hot dog. And some little bit of tofu. I didn't put that much because I'm not... I don't know, I'm not really... I don't like tofu that much. And I have some mushrooms. Spam, of course. And I have some bologna. And some dumplings. This is homemade. I don't know what's in it. But I just want, wanted to add a little bit of everything in the soup. And I think that's kind of like the purpose of the soup. Like whatever you got at home. Just kind of throw it in there and then just um, top it off with some um, pepper paste soup and you're good to go. So, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to add water. Um, I actually didn't want to give specific amount of water to put in um, just because I think that depends on what kind of bowl you're using or how much soup you want how concentrated you want the flavor to be so just for me I'm gonna add until it doesn't overflow <laughs> okay I think that's good just gonna Cover that so I didn't make the I didn't put in the soup base yet because I'm gonna show you guys how so of course the amount doesn't matter as long as it's proportionate so I have two teaspoon or two tablespoon of uh, the Korean pepper paste and I put a little pinch of pepper and then this is kind of like a half to quarter to have tea tablespoon of sugar and then yeah and I, I put two tablespoon of um, pepper flakes right pepper flakes okay. and then one tablespoon of soy sauce Of course, there everyone's um, like recipe is always a little different, but again, I'm just showing you guys how I do it, and I'm keeping this to the most basic. Like you could add some garlic and some, you know, other flavoring, other different kind of like sauces. But I'm keeping it to minimum. And for the stock, you could do like anchovy stock or some radish stock, chicken stock, or whatever. But again, I don't I don't want to go through that. I'm just adding some water. So it should look like just regular, you know. But um I'm not gonna add the whole thing at once. I'm just gonna see how it goes and I could always add more. And if you guys can see, I have some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna top it up. I'm gonna add it on top of my uh, ramen noodles. And 
I saved the soup base from my ramen, shin ramen, because, just because, if this doesn't taste good, if the outcome is bad, just in case, I'm gonna just kind of top it off with a little bit of the soup base, because, I mean, I know this is old news, and it's been going on for years, but honestly, it does help. It really does help. Um, but that is if it turns out really, really bad, but it really shouldn't. Oh, and I also have some rice. So it's kind of heating up. I'm gonna add... So hungry right now. This is my breakfast, a brunch. I'm gonna have one more spoon here on the side. I'm supposed to go shopping today after this um, for Las Vegas. I'm gonna just pick up some like shirts and pants. Oh, and I also have to pick up a dress because on my the first day we arrive at Vegas, we're gonna go to some bars and just kind of have a night out, which will be really fun. I feel like I should add more. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I'm just gonna let it sit on a low heat a little bit so everything can kind of mix together and it'll, um, like the, I want the flavor to really go into all the ingredients. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. Okay, so my soup is almost done. I'm just gonna add some cheddar cheese on top of my ramen. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit so the cheese can melt, so the cheese can melt really well. Let's see. Ooh, it's almost. Okay, well, while I'm waiting, cook some cheese. Mm. I'm going to it. I want to talk about like and today I'm gonna to talk about like how I changed over time like personality wise my style or and I feel like for me even though I'm 25 years old I'm still searching for I don't know, like, I feel like I'm still searching. I feel like, I mean, of course, I have a better idea of myself than ever, but I think I'm still searching for, like, what I really want and what I, 
who I really am inside and out. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about my personality and my style starting from high school, probably uh, starting from high school to right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. This looks so good. You wanna see? Oh wow. Okay. Ready? Ta da! Oh my. Look how red this is. This looks so good. And yeah, I put cheese on top of the ramen. Oh my gosh. Taste it. Mmm, perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. I'm spilling everywhere though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think seriously, ever since I started YouTube, I've been the better cook. Okay, which one should I eat first? Do you see the sausage? Oh my, oh my gosh. It's like a little tentacles looking. Okay, I'm gonna try the Spam because I feel like you can't make puta chicken without Spam. Like seriously, you can't make with the Spam. You cannot make with the with those spam. Definitely hot though. I'm like, no, really? That would be cold. Oh my gosh. Mm. And I have some bologna. I actually started adding bologna recently. You know those like the ones that are, they sell at like Walmart or any grocery store for your sandwiches? I just added those. I don't think I'm gonna vlog in Vegas, but I'm definitely gonna. I will definitely Snapchat Snapchat a lot. So if you're not following me, uh, go ahead and follow me at least next week if you wanna see Las Vegas. It should be really really fun. What are these mushrooms called? Ino inoki mushrooms inoki yeah but those are really good and okay i'm gonna try the sausages oh my gosh oh my gosh 
how delicious that looks. No, I forgot about the dumplings. Ooh. Oh, wow. So good. Bad idea. Mm -mm -mm. It's not that bad. Mmm. Totally forgot to play here. Oh my gosh, okay, here are the noodles. I usually um, don't add cheese into my noodles just because it messes around with the soup. I like the clean taste of the soup. That's why I only add it on top of the noodles here so it doesn't really mix with, so it doesn't mix with all the soup in the in the bowl. I know many of you guys don't like me slurping, but I gotta because it's so hot. And when you're eating something hot, try it. It really, really helps. And you'll understand me.
Can I tell you guys something? <clears throat> I might I might not finish this food. Cause it's like a lot bigger than I expected. Some tofu. Mm. Told you I don't like tofu. Doesn't taste like anything. Honestly, I feel like this is not shrinking at all. So, when I was in high school, no, 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 yeah. Ever since 8th grade going into high school 
I was really, really boyish. I was a tomboy. I always had my hair up, didn't care about what I wore, didn't care about what I... Even through high school, I felt like I was more into volleyball. I didn't really care about how I looked or like what, what I was wearing. But again, I told you, like when I was in high school, like you... It's cool if you're wearing Abercrombie or Hollister, stuff like that. Because those are expensive stuff and I guess when someone was wearing that, it's like, oh, she's either really cool or really rich. You know? So high school, I didn't care. But you know how I told you I used to have a crush on this guy and because of him I started I feel like my eyes were always like kind of on the bigger side I mean I don't want to like say it's big or like pretty like large or whatever because you know there are people with like humongous eyes but I'm just saying like my my eyes within my group of friends I had my eyes were on the bigger side so my friends were like, oh, if you wear makeup, you'll totally be so pretty or whatever. I'm like, no, I don't even have makeup. I don't even look at a makeup. And I don't even know I don't even know how to apply it. They're like, oh, no, 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 I'll show you how. So my friends actually applied uh, mascara on my eyes, eyelashes. And I know it's a, mas a mascara. Like right now, if I wear mascara, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But back then when I first tried a mascara with nothing else, like my eye, it really really enhanced my eyes like my eyes look so big so pretty and honestly I, ever since that day i started wearing mascara more and after that i um got into like whole foundation and I saw this girl that um, um transferred to my high school I think she straight up came from Korea and went to different school and came to my school so she was really like Korean I, she was really really Korean like her style of makeup and she was wearing a lot of makeup for her age and she was actually a couple years younger than me. She was wearing a lot of makeup and she looked really pretty on her. And ever since then, I'm like, okay, look, I have to put makeup on because this girl is gorgeous and I want to look like her. So, I started doing like a lot of um, glowy look makeup. Like I would like highlight my T-zone. But i didn't know any techniques so i got a bunch of glitter and just kind of like dabbed it on my face and everyone's like yeah you have something on your forehead i'm like oh that, i don't know whatever <laughs> no but i was so embarrassed because these girls look so pretty and they knew what they were doing but i here i am putting glitter on my face hoping that i look like them you know so after that i was just like okay forget it i'm not gonna put makeup on so high school year ended like that I did makeup once in a while. My friends did it for me whenever we like hung out together, and whenever we went out, like having a dinner, <laughs> like my friends put makeup on me. Uh, other than that, like I never really owned any until I went into college. Mm. When I was in college, I started, um, I only, like, wore, like, eyeshadow on my eyes. Like, I would draw eyeliner, like, eyeliner with eyeshadow. That was, like, the most I will wear. But I started watching YouTube. I started watching, like, um... Like, um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, my sister was like, hey, do you know Michelle Phan? Have you seen Michelle Phan? Like, what, the, what the hell is Michelle Phan? 
I don't know. And she's like, oh, you don't even watch YouTube? I'm like, no. And I think that's why I started to watching YouTube. And I think I found Michelle Fan and I started seeing all these links to different kind of uh, makeup gurus. So, um, so personal favorites. I really like Tanya. Tanya Burr. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I think she has a really, really sweet personality. She's so real. Um, I feel like, and she's not afraid to show who she really is. So, yeah, anyways, that's why I really like her. I started watching her a lot. And, um, who else did I watch? Yes, I started watching her a lot. And there was this another girl that I really liked. She, I don't think she makes videos anymore, but something CL, CL something. She has, like, really, really big eyes. I don't know, I don't know if you guys don't know, but something CL. And I watch her videos, how to like elongate your eyes and things like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is it. Like I want to look like them. And, oh, this is really funny. And I started buying a bunch of makeup because I like used to work a lot during summers in a nail shop. And I saved a lot of money. And I used all of that on makeup i spent i literally i'm not exaggerating i think spent over a couple thousand dollars only on makeup um because every time i watch like monthly favorites or like whatever like how to look like this i would literally go to walgreens or sephora website and buy everything i was so obsessed and of course like you know i told you guys in uh, college my face broke out because i like exfoliated too much so um, yeah, after that, I was more into skincare, but in conclusion, I spent a lot of money on makeup, but, um, I don't regret it because I feel like now I have my own makeup. Like, I know what good, what looks good on me, what kind of eye makeup looks good on me, and what kind of foundation, how I, to, I should contour, or, you know, like, those kind of stuff. I feel like th watching YouTube girls were, like, a um, stepping stone for me to be find my own style in makeup at least so i don't regret that i don't regret spending that much money on makeup i mean it's made me who i am today just makeup wise but it's funny because i was so into it i'm like man i gotta start my own channel <laughs> I wanted to do I don't know I just want I, it's not that I loved it's not that like I was expert in makeup or it's not that I was I knew like I had clever ideas that other people had like it's not like that I wanted to just look like them how they look like on YouTube I'm like oh my god I gotta do this I gotta do this I wanna look like them so I I had a pretty decent camera back then. Not it wasn't it was point and shoot, not DSLR. So I had that, and then I actually bought like a hundred dollar lighting kit, which I don't have anymore. And I decided um, to film in my dorm. I, I I was by myself back then, and I set everything up. How like I like research everything. I set up the lights and camera, and I sat in, and I sat in front of the camera and. I did what I can. I just did like, oh, I just try to copy what the girls did. And I put like, oh, this is how you put like eyeliner. This is how I do my uh, foundation, blah, blah, blah. And I recorded myself. And I, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I am so ugly. This is so bad. I would, I was so grossed out by it. Like, I didn't want to look at myself. I'm like, man, why can't I look like those girls? And you know, that was kind of really, really discouraging for me because I w really wanted to do it. And the fact that I couldn't do it, it was really, you know, I was like, man, I wasted so much money on makeup and this, but I, I don't know. And after a couple tries i just gave up because i'm like i don't think i'm meant for like makeup 
whatever and it's really funny because i told some of my friends like i'm gonna become a youtube star i'm gonna do makeup videos this is my dream this is my career now i know what i want to do with my life that's why i told them i'm like no after like two tries i'm like no this is not it this is like no i can't do this i'm gonna stick with school i'm gonna stick with something that i have to sit on a computer or desk and but yeah there that was like end of my makeup guru youtuber dream but then i still like makeup but i feel like after that happened i just stopped watching youtube gurus i stopped buying makeup so that was the end of that and i don't know i feel like i feel like i was so like mixed up with what kind of like um first impression i wanted to give people like or like you know i like exactly like more like precisely like i didn't know what kind of style i wanted to, i wanted to fall in like do i want to be in like cute category do i want to be like, sexy do i want to be like hipster do i want to do i want to look like badass like i didn't know i want i want to look like everything i'm like okay so why not like if i feel like this one day i'm gonna look like that or if i feel like this if i want to look like a nerd i'm gonna look like a nerd next day i don't know i just really towards the end of college i really didn't care like i didn't i f it, i was convinced that i don't have to fall into one category like i can look like however i want however i want you know so i that itself was really it's something that i'm still working on today like i don't know what i fall in like, I, I don't know, like, maybe you guys can tell me, but I don't know what category, if I, you know, have to. Like, I don't know what category what I will fall in. So, but that's something I'm working on, like, like how should I wear makeup, how should I wear my hair, what should I wear to look like a nerdy person, or a badass, or a cool girl, or something like that, you know what I mean? Because I've... You know from the movie One Stupid Crazy Love, right? We know the famous line where he says like you're like sexy and cute or cute and sexy or something like that. And like I wanna be that kind of person. I wanna like look sexy but cute but hot but smart but you know so there's something I'm still kind of searching. Like, what kind of person am I? Because I feel like it should be more than just looks. Like, just personal think, personal thoughts. Is that if you want to look cute, I think your personality should be cute too. If you want to look sexy, I feel like you should have really sophisticated and sexy personality too. Not just me. I feel like if someone looks really hot, but if they act really nerdy, actually that's really nice. I take it back. But yeah, you know what I mean. I don't even make sense right now. But I'm just saying like, if I look like a badass one day, I'm gonna act like a badass. But if I look nerdy, I'll act nerdy. You know, I mean, I know it's really weird, but... I think that's the only reason why I actually really wear makeup. Is because, depending on how I wear my eyeliner, or like my face foundation, my hair, I think it really changes the look of a person. Like right now today, I don't know what I am. I don't know. What do you guys think? What would you What would you judge me? Well, how would you categorize me with like my messy hair bun and this real weird sheer looking shirt? No.
I think I want to be the type of girl who can pull off everything. Like, if I'm going to, like, a... Let's say I'm just, like, hanging out, grabbing, like, going to a pub. I will wear, like, a pullover and maybe, like, a snapback or, like, a beanie. Like that. Like, I want to pull that off. Or if I'm going on a nice date dinner to a, sit to a city, I want to be able to pull off that, like, a nice, tight, curvy dress with some heels or boots and, like, a nice uh, trench jacket. You know, something like that. And... I just want to be able to pull everything off and I think I'm trying to make myself more flexible in that way but I don't know I mean I'm pretty sure the way people look at me is different than the way I look at myself so I don't know let me guys know, let me know how you guys like what category category I will fall in I don't know no one actually ever told me that so I'm actually really curious now Oh my gosh, I made too much. Just saying, this is a lot of food. Like a lot of food, so. I don't think I'll finish. I'm getting really full. I am so full. Ooh. I feel pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. I am so full. You know why? You know the bubble tea I ate last night? Or oh, if you follow me on Snapchat, I actually ate bubble tea. 
last night and I didn't finish it because I was too tired to finish and I left it in the uh, refrigerator and ate it this drink it this morning <clears throat> and I feel like that kind of filled me up a little and then I was kind of like munching on a lot of stuff before before this so. I ate some skittles yeah I am full Uh, I'm sleepy now. I just want to sleep. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this kind of half cooking, half eating. Um, I want to just cook, start cooking more and then definitely eat after I cook it. So let me know what you guys think. I personally really enjoyed it because I like how you guys saw the process of me making it so um yeah just let me know I'm sorry I couldn't finish I'm I really really tried them but this I don't know I can't eat that much this morning right now I'm really full and this is definitely more than enough I'll save it for later so I hope you guys enjoyed everything follow me on snapchat and instagram to see more of my life Especially next week because I'm going to Vegas. Ooh. Um, but yeah, you'll definitely find out more about... I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to vlog. I'm not going to... Uh, I don't think I'll upload it on YouTube. Not just yet because... Well, actually, I might. I don't know, actually. Uh, I usually... I used to make like small video clips or like a short film on Instagram. Because you know how Instagram has 15 seconds of video? So I used to make like small clips on you on Instagram when I had a like back a while ago. So I might start doing that. So yep, yeah, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube. So I'll see you next time. Bye.